So welcome back drifters. Today we're out here. I'm gonna be working on the RX-7. We're gonna be pulling out the rear differential in order to get it ready to fix it because if you remember in the last drift event, it didn't go exactly according to plan. Turns out that our rear differential is not locking up like what we need it to. So today what we're gonna do is pull out the old one and get it ready to put the new one in. The only problem is I need to get axle seals and they're not available anywhere. So I'm waiting for Atkins Rotary to send them out and we should have those in a couple of days. So that'll probably be a different video when we actually go to put the new one in. But for right now, let's just work on getting this out. I don't know about you, but one of the biggest things I hate about working on cars is putting it up on jack stands. So I'm gonna take the wheels off and put them under there just in case this thing falls off because that's just like one of my things. I'm just like terrified of this thing falling on me. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Boom, all right. I would much rather lose a wheel than my head. All right, so now we got this thing up on jack, so all we got to do is start working on tearing this diff apart. Hopefully I don't have to remove the exhaust. We'll see when we get under there, but you just never know with these things. All right, so there's the axle right there. Uh, the big thing is this piece is a lot like how the Miata was, except for up at the front, it's a little bit longer. So uh, looking at this, I may just have to pull the axles, but I think we should be able to pull the diff out without worrying about the exhaust. So we'll see when we get to that point. So up in here, we've got two bolts that are gonna be back here that we need to get out. We're gonna need to unhook the drive shaft here. We got a bolt here on each side. We got these bolts here, little axle there, and this here. So it looks like I got my work cut out for me. So I'm just gonna get started on wrenching these things and we're just gonna go to town. So getting to these first two nuts up here are kind of a pain. There's not a lot of room to get to them. So I'm gonna have to just get what I can and work my way around it. Looks like I can get it from each side with a wrench. Might need to get a wobble bit. It's kind of a tricky spot. So it looks like what we're gonna have to do is pull this up frame. So at least lower it a little bit. So I'm gonna remove the sway bar bolt and the lower bolt on the coilover. And then uh, we'll move on to getting the other stuff out of the way. I'm just trying to drop it enough so I can get my hand in there and undo these two bolts up at the front. So. We'll see what we can do. So we're gonna do the top bolt there, it's a 14, and then we're gonna do the bottom bolt down there, which is a 17. There we go. So now I just need to get that thing hung up with zip ties, but other than that, it looks good. All right, so we got the brake caliper off, we got the sway bar off, and we got the lower bolt on the uh, coil over. So now we just need to go do that on the other side and then get ready to drop some of this stuff. Okay, I got the uh, I got the calipers hung up, so now I'm just gonna pry off these little guys. Okay, it's loose. Okay, good. So that's just dangling. Sway bar's out of the way. Should be good as far as that goes. So now I'm gonna remove the axle stub bolts up here. So this part here is not too bad. All I'm doing is I'm just taking a 14 mil wrench and smacking it with a hammer. Luckily, I've replaced these things a couple times, so they're already not that bad getting them off, especially the ones that have been kind of loosened up already. I mean, look, I can just go up here, plop this on there, and then just loosen it up. Here we go. A little hammer and wrench action. Probably be easier if the exhaust wasn't in the way, but you know, who wants to do things the easy way? There it goes. All right. It's not that bad, it's just a matter of working it out and then we've got about eight of these to go. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I should be able to just, yeah, there we go. So those are out of the way, kinda. Just gonna flop those down. Uh. Nope. Nice and easy. Cool. So now we got to move on to removing the subframe and getting it lowered. Yeehaw. So I almost forgot I need to get the drive shaft off, but I need to have it secured so that way it doesn't actually fall out and then leak trans fluid all over the floor. So I'm going to do that real quick. Basically, I'm just using something to hold it in place, set the gear in first gear, and then I can just smack it with a hammer and it's good to go. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so all I'm doing is removing these bolts here. Basically, it's just like a lot of the other ones. A lot of these things are just 14s. And uh, I'm just gonna smack it with a hammer and knock it out since we're in first gear. 
it shouldn't go anywhere. There we go. Oh, there's a nut on the back side too. Huh. So now he's just going to move it into neutral so he can spin it. Okay, there we go. Put it in first. Thank you. There we go. So there's that. Go. Alright, so that should be good there. So now what we got to do is remove this little bolt down here. And then we can work on dropping the subframe. 17. That wasn't even on there. That was super loose. All right, so now comes the fun part where we gotta actually drop the subframe a little bit. What we're gonna do is support the subframe with a jack and then slowly lower it, but not off of the main posts. So there's two bolts on each side. We're gonna take those off, support it with the jack and slowly lower it. And then we're also gonna support the back of the pumpkin on the diff so that way it doesn't come falling into our faces. So luckily I got Austin with me to help me figure this out. So it's gonna be a little bit of a fiasco, but we'll, we'll manage to get it done. Hey Kyle. Did you know you have a hole in your exhaust right here? Yeah. Okay. As long as it works, that's all that matters. So these are the two little things. What I did is we took this piece off here and we just have this on here just barely enough to hold the threads. Because we don't need to drop the subframe all the way, just a little bit. So now we're taking those bolts out. Uh, it's just a little 14, no, was it 17? 17. 17. And then we're gonna drop the diff down. So we got it supported with the jack, and we've also got a little scissor jack back there. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're each gonna get on a jack. He's gonna try to lower the front jack, and I'm gonna slowly lower mine just enough to where I can get access to the 217 bolts up front. This is gonna be a lot of finagling, but we'll just do what we can, and see. hopefully it works. The big concern is this exhaust. We may have to end up dropping it, but we'll just give it a shot without, and if we do, then we do. There we go, I got it, I got it. Oh my God, I got it. Oh. Yeah, it was just really, really on there. How did we tighten that on there so tight? <laughs> Considering it's in such a shitty spot. Lots of anger. Yeah. Well, uh, we got it out. I don't know when it stopped recording. It said the memory card was full. Well, we got it out. Memory card's full, though. So, don't know how much of that you got to see, but uh, we got that sucker out. We it had was... to lower the subframe, like, a lot. Like, we had to take the bolts out, and we brought it as low as we could. It, it looks like it's about to fall out, but luckily we have a jack under there kind of holding it where it needs to be. But, a lot of yanking. Yep. But she's out. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get this thing completely done today because, well, I don't have the axle seals or the pinion seals. I went all around town and I couldn't find them anywhere. So I'm going to have to wait for those to come in. I ordered some from Atkins Rotary. They should be here in a few days. So all we got to do is get the new diff and get that one fixed up. We're going to put the new seals in it probably in the next couple days. That way we can get it going and then we should be good to go. Well, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of basic. We were just removing a diff. And the next one, we're probably just going to be installing a diff. But uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if so, be sure to hit that like button. If you didn't, dislike it. And I'll be sure to see you all in the next one. But just remember, keep it nice and easy.